Hey, 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 Fatalis, um, uh, you, you found the one ring yet? <laughs> Shut up, I'll kill you once I'm a dragon again. Hey, hey, Fatalis, um, uh, you, you, you been sued by Tolkien? <laughs> hey, I'll eat you. Alright, shut up, Cotton. Alright, Cotton. Uh, yes? Tell me a story. Oh, um, once upon a time, there was a place, and it was really, really cold. And in it, there lived 7.5 people. We don't talk about the point .5, it was a terrible accident, and he's going to die any day now. Um, the other seven, however, lived a very happy life, aside from that part. Um, <laughs> collecting fish in barrels from the water. Look, as fascinating as that was, I was hoping it would be a, a, a Monster Hunter story. This is a Monster Hunter story. You're not, what, you don't like having stories about the innocent villagers in our universe? <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, our universe. You don't like hearing about the villagers in the Wildspire Waste going to collect some gajow in some barrels? <laughs> <laughs> the end. I'm in my combat gear. Look at that. Yeah. Good. You can it's tell the, the more the more yeah. straps you have around your legs, the more combat you are. Well, yeah, because you have more pouches for stuff. You look like you've just come from the Fatalis Ball. Yeah. No, I'm just slowly turning into multiple different dragons. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm still okay is none of them can decide who gets to turn into. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm changing. <laughs> it's fabulous. I guess this is me now. I wonder how fish react to blinding light. Quite well. And that's how the fish jump into the barrels. Because first- This is how you're supposed to fish, right? Okay. Great pink Perexis. I'm sorry, is, is that- it? I'm sorry, but that just sounds like the monster that you've become. Behold, it's the great One pink Perexis. <laughs> I catch my fish one barrel at a time. Well, I'm not just a normal pink Perexis. I have to be pretty good. And behold! Oh. In, in, a, in a second. Distantly. In, in, distantly, vaguely, behold. Now majorly, behold! Oh, he looks really nice. He does look His tail really looks nice. like a shrimp. Yeah, look, there we go. It's a, a okay. His, um, his mouth is oh. leaking. His mouth is leaking. That is, oh okay, my god. That is a very oh, leaking okay, that's uh, holy. It's like his lower jaws just hanging that, down in a flesh pouch. It's, and it shows oh it's god, no, it actually takes away. You can see into the roof of his mouth. When you look in, you can see another dimension. Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> what is this? It's a there's a portal under his mouth. Behold! My word. Like a ram dragon. Fuck yeah. That's so cool. Why is he holding a portal in his mouth? <laughs> what? Freaking me out, man. <laughs> Look, all right, if you don't like it, then kill it. That's the point of being a hunter. Well, you're right. Uh, let's kill it before it walks away. We have to protect the innocent Absaros that I know live this way. <laughs> yes, that you know personally that are good friends of yours. Oh, oh yeah, God. The his head is so bad! It is quite something. Oh. I love the way the the, the the tusk horn things, like, they look like they're made of foam or, like, pillows. <laughs> they are made of foam. They're specially crafted. <laughs> There's great. actually a Teostra that someone's forcefully put in a costume. Where the hell did he... Where the fuck did you go? Did he just completely play us? <laughs> He did! He's back up top, the little shit! He did a freaking circle! Go, 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 oh, go, go. Ow! <laughs> I told you not while we're working. It's just so casual a kick! Teostra! I mean, Makili Babili. Makili the. <laughs> Billy the Kid. What? Versa Pietro! There we go! I got there in the end. I couldn't remember what, what the pre Pietro was. The, the Prietri, yeah. One thousand years pre-Pietru. Monsters roam the land. They still do. Oh, the stumps don't count as walls. That's really sad. Oh, yeah, I think only when they're they're full up. And so I, by stumps, I mean term- <laughs> They're termite mounds! I guess that would be where Baroth's snacks are. Yes! He breaks them open with his face, and then he eats them. Oh, my God! I can't of believe course. I've never- <laughs> What the heck? They're termite- Wait, that means standing on this then should be stood in a bustling swarm of angry, confused termites. Yep. Do not wear wooden armor is the main thing. Do not wear wooden armor. Oh my god! Well, 
Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to sit in the pile of swimming bugs. Swimming? Yes, swimming. It's like it's swimming, like... but a bit more swimming. Yeah, it's, it's swimming if you're a slug. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in the natural slug races. Three, two, Ooh. one, and they're off. All right, make sure to tell your grandchildren to tune in to reveal the winner. I don't know what's worse there, the implication that, um, that the slugs have generations go by within hours or that they take that long to complete the course oh yeah when they smash you can see all the ants run around yeah. i feel like this, this is game a, has uh, so much detail i feel like that <laughs> for everyone is just like y yes guys yes we yes this is um the whole I, I i feel like this is something that we knew at one point and then we just haven't spent enough time in the wildspire waste for like over a year at this point <laughs> been here much. This is one of the underused uh, maps in Iceborne. <laughs> he looked so freaky. I can't you know? get over it. It's so bad. <laughs> I, I both love it and am terrified by it simultaneously. Yeah, this is uh, the epitome of a thanks, I hate it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I just I really want this guy to actually exist, though. Like, oh, fighting, for sure. fighting Aurora Borealis beams would be so cool. Oh yeah, just just be able to see them in like actual Monster Hunter attack looks would be so nice. You just get down, Mr. President, in him. Yeah, just a little bit. I was leaping through the air, about to hit him really hard in the face, and you bopped him sideways, and he dodged me with the power of saliva. Well, it's, it's like get down, Mr. President. If, if I like punched him in the face, <laughs> yes, make him exactly. Him. You saved that dragon <laughs> by punching it in the face with a hammer. Get down here! Give me a minute. What have I told you about playing with Mr. Pietro? I'm having fun! Oh, Christ! It's gonna be expensive to fix. Yeah, I don't know if he'll want to go on another playdate after that one. I, I'll convince him. Don't worry. I know his secrets. Good. What are they? Right, I, well, if I just... I, I'd be really bad at knowing his secrets if I just immediately told you based on asking. Yeah, well, I mean, you wouldn't be bad at knowing them. You'd just be bad at keeping them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Mr. Devil on me shoulder. I'm just, I'm just saying. He Technically, didn't, he didn't ask me. you know, it's, he, uh, it's, it's, you're did, not, you're did, not wrong if you tell me. I know he <laughs> told you that they were his secrets, but did he tell you not to tell people his secrets? Because I don't think he made that kind of distinction. <laughs> oh shit, the rock. Not the Dwayne, rock. Wait, no. Shara, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I was in there. Basario, no. <laughs> There once was a mountain range. It was actually Shara, Dwayne, and Baserios. The best of friends. They went on many adventures together. <laughs> Wait, no, Dwayne sorry. the Rock Johnson, Shara Ishvalda, and Baserios merrily skipping down the street arm in hand. <laughs> Where are rocks technically? <laughs> what will I do next? Wait and see! We got no clue! I thought you were going to say clothes then we got no clothes except Dwayne <laughs> Dwayne's got clothes but for serious <laughs> charish Valda are naked <laughs> oh, oh my health actually that wasn't that bad yeah no that was really really tame <laughs> yeah, sort of, it, I thought it was gonna be bad and I was, it, I'm just used to Vitalis's version of that which is yeah. harder yeah <laughs> I want to take his tail and see what happens. Ah, I love that it just looks like a giant shrimp. I want to <laughs> eat it. It look like I don't go giant. His tail does look like yeah. a giant shrimp. <laughs> oh no! I don't I like that. that I don't like that a lot. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the savior dragon of humanity is a shrimp. Oh. Oh look! I just uh, hey, nice. I just got some meat out of it. Like some furry meat came out came out of that shrimp. Yep, that's what I like. Furry meat. That's the best kind of meat. Gotta love. Gotta love. You know, <laughs> you gotta dehair your shrimp before you cook it. Everyone knows that. Sir, how do you like your steak? Well, absolutely bristling. Uh, if you could, that'd be uh, perfect for me. I think I would just like one of the cuts that is close to the end, and then just don't skin it. Whichever steak could be best used as a scourer, that's that's the one I want to eat. Or like, have you ever worn a scarf? I would like a steak scarf. Now go to sleep. See, go I am the monster whisperer. All right, I will I will boop the brain, right. and then you boop the brain via your old learner method. All right, I'll put this in here. Okay. And you can't even okay. see it there. 
And time to condemn humanity to the Black Blight! Pizza. Oh! Oh, I'm, I'm gonna not do that right now. Yeah, that's fair enough, okay. <laughs> well, it would be a shame if we lost the White Dragon, but you know, we're hunters, so it needs to die. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna do that! Uh. And... Boom! Oh, that would have been such a cool kill, but it didn't happen! Boo! Scatter nut! Scatter nut! Scatter nut! Stop tired of scatter nuts. scattering your nuts. Gotcha! Look, that's the only way to spread oh, my seed. Oh, what the? F what happened? Nothing. What? Um. um <laughs> I, I deleted him um, from existence. He's gone. I, I actually deleted oh, shit. him from existence. With uh, a chance. It would appear that the entire existence of this creature is tied to the horn. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a dragon that messes with light. It should only be able to refract. Oh, okay, he's dead. He's Piss okay. Off, ghost. Jesus Christ. It's off, ghost. <laughs> what the fuck? Time to carve so it around. <laughs> it just blipped out of reality when I hit I thought he'd like. I thought he, like, teleported upwards, but then there was fire. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, bad news. I don't like bad news. It turns out what? Did you just absorb the Fatalis? So maybe a little. Oh, you're, a re you're, you're a real fan of the Triple Rock show, aren't you? That's, that's well, what yeah, that is. You've just, you stuff, immediately right? got merch armor. That's what's got happened. Gotta really there. go in on the branding there. You gotta sell, <laughs> sell our new product. Either way, it turns out killing the monster destined to save everyone from the Black Blight is a poor decision. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Maybe we should have done this a, a different way. Yeah, well, you know, we're committed to the the future. Look at my and, neck. And the, I don't want your neck. Then you don't get to look at my neck. So, uh, yeah, we kind of ended up with, um... Uh, a oh, bit of, a bit of a dragon. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's oh. McKinley Pierre Drew now, so... And he looks good! He does look good. Again, there is a bit of no, a, a, little bit a, of a bit clipping, of a yeah. fleshy hang to his jaw. Which yeah, is not how you want to really place. describe no, someone. Don't want a fleshy hang job now. You know, I like long walks on the beach, sunsets, and fleshy hangs to my jaw. Somebody love me. Please. Somebody hang from my jaw. Stuns! <laughs> Somebody stuns! I like it. I guess, yeah, you can slug a five while still having everything else in the world. Every now, attack so. skill you can yeah. ever imagine. <laughs> I have three coalescents in this hammer build. Oh, okay. That, that was just how impressed I was at, at having coalescence. Oh, I was like, whoa! Jesus! Three! I don't know why I went a little bit uh, Davy Jones there. Jesus! You know, this oh. <laughs> this, uh, this tail looks less like a giant shrimp. It does look less like a giant shrimp and more looks like a giant mutated shrimp. Like a manta ray that somebody tried to put through a paper shredder. Yep, that's normal. Well, no, it's not normal. That's why I had to point it out. Otherwise, I would have just said a manta ray. Welcome to my new <laughs> show, Putting Fish Through Shredders. All right, and this is what a swordfish would look like if you put it through a paper shredder slowly. That's a terrific show idea! <laughs> yeah, I can't believe this got past the broadcast now. Right? What the fuck? That's really poor. Isn't there someone who's supposed to be monitoring these things? What, you can't swear on television, but fish shredding is okay? No, it's it's only it's uh, only fish that would die anyway. That's, uh, that's how they got away oh, with right, it. Right, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then they can tell which fish are going to die anyway because they're not in the ocean anymore. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Did they remove them from the ocean? Yeah, they did remove them from the ocean. So, you know, it's a, quite the self-fulfilling prophecy. Sure that they're not in the ocean. Oh, the tail swipe! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> And boop. Mm. Oh, it looks so weird when it stands up on its spindly little it two, does. almost two human-like legs. It's just weird that some of the hair just seems far too connected to the face muscles. For my <laughs> and the hair muscles connected and, to the face muscle. And, and that one part of the muscle. tail <laughs> that jumps with the legs. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Really glad there is a dark and light element weapon slash dragons. Take this! All right, I'll just be on the floor. Uh, thanks. I was in pain and on the floor. I'm glad she's not doing a supernova. There you go, there you go, Me too, yeah, so same. basically, yeah. you know, that's, that's all you need to we've know all, about we've, sunshine. We've, we've all been there before. <laughs> oh, your mouth is so colorful! Thanks, I've been working on that for the last few months. I appreciate that. Where am I going? Okay. There. <laughs> the controller just made me go on a very dramatic yeah. greatsword walk. <laughs> Stun! 
Stun! Stun! But that waits a potential wall bang. Well, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. She's still able to be banged into the wall. You could Weird. apply stun while stunned. Actually, no, then four hannas. Four, four hannas? Yes, four hannas with maximum stun. That'd be pretty good. Would just like keep chain now. stunning everything forever. I would love that though. That should be a thing. That would be the like the benefit to playing hammer, <laughs> as opposed to all the other benefits which don't count. Well, no, I just mean like it would instead be like if you play a four-player hammer group, you get this, as opposed to stuff like we get four-player bowgun groups that just just ruin things because they're crazy. That is fair enough. So I guess the time between KOs should be a lot sh shorter for four hammers. All right, Mikili. Stop no, inventing everything, okay? Gormagala already tried it, and it doesn't work. Well, I mean, if they both tried it at the same time, they could have, like, met in the middle. What do you think a Black Blighted Frenzy Monster's like? Um, terrifying zombie? A hyper Black Blighted Frenzied Monster. I, I think that is basically what New World Fatalis is. <laughs> I think New World Fatalis is just frenzied Old World Fatalis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, why are you not Novaring? I don't like that attack anymore. I've grown past it. And... Oh! oh that was really, really, really not worth it. Are no, you okay there, is. man? Holy shit! I feel like Marilyn Monroe! What, did she famously fall off a dragon and hit the ground at high speeds? No, as I was falling, my skirt was being blown upwards. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> I didn't think many people knew about, you know, the, the epic tale of Marilyn Monroe and the dragon. <laughs> I really thought you'd be harder than Teo, but I guess... I guess Vitalis has ruined this game. <laughs> Vitalis has made everything simple. It's removed Luna's ability to supernova because we just transitioned her to new zones too fast. I have no idea what part of this is Luna and what part of it isn't, so I'm going to just... Uh, I guess I'll just hit this. That's probably good. And... Save the world! Oh! The world's pretty safe. The world is pretty safe. Oh! oh for God's sake! Come oh, on, I'm man! On I'm stunning so the monster! <laughs> While he's down! Oh, wait! No, let me stand up again! You knocked me out, my bad. She does not have freedom of movement anymore. Give me your tail. Give me more head damage. Oh, I guess that's fair enough. You are simple hammer. Me want hit head hard. My body's on fire. Right. Yeah, I think Whoa, so. Whoa! My think body's on fire! Please! Please! Put please! Down. Jesus Christ, somebody help! Why are you writing this song? Why are you writing these down as song lyrics? I need to help you. <laughs> Honestly, that's a real problem. That's an interesting death position for hair. It is a very interesting what, position. Like, what, what, why is there like a lunastro wing growing out of the side of its head? That's a really good point! This is <laughs> like a bulge of fur! No barrel! Oh, Jesus Christ! It's mine! That was so scary! But I wanted to start Jurassic Park! Are you, you alright there? You, you no, 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 my, you're my, gonna my freak feet, out? Like, what are you... What are you doing? Feet, you're just too close to this rock. I don't. I just. Just, I, I just, just face forward. Look at me. Yes. Hi. So the world was put in mortal danger and then saved from mortal danger. Soon it will be in immortal danger. Then we'll be screwed. And this leads us to the most important question: How many T Rexes would it take to kill one Devil Joe? Eight and a half at the same time, or well, obviously, obviously at the same 63 time. Sixty-three. In separate instances. You, you think Devil Joe would beat 62 T-Rexes in a row in a 1v1 and the 63rd would get him? I I think I think if you gave him like like an hour break in between each fight, yes. Uh, uh, Give him a little bit of time to recharge. Uh, well, what, what do you think? <laughs> That's of course the main point of today's episode. <laughs> what? Is, how many T-Rexes could a Devil Joe kill? If a devil show could kill T-Rexes. Exactly. Like if you don't, this is subscribe for more, and we will see you soon. Oh, God.
<laughs> this is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love. So let's start with something simple and say, oh, we love your eyes. When they're watching us play video games, we make a bunch of jokes that are kind of lame. Or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia. Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here talking about the things you want to hear. So if you want to be the first to hear, like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer. Some of you are patrons even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros. There's nothing we can do to thank you. No, really, there's nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.